Hello, and uh, welcome back to Undertale. It was like, it was like, I ended like five minutes ago. Oh my god. But I didn't. It was the next day. Um, uh, 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 uh. Let's just play the game. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I just watched Markiplier's second part, and I'm going to try and get past where he is at the moment. And I'm also going to try and not copy his voices, because, you know, yeah. Also, I can do a redneck accent without having to struggle over and over again. <laughs> that was pathetic. So, I found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. And I'm going to keep it because of reasons. It's Doriel's Diary. Read a circle passage. Yes, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with <laughs> jokes with silver caliber, silver caliber, similar caliber. Good job. Can I sleep in her bed? Definitely bigger than a twin side bed. Oh, okay. With one pill. It's a bit odd. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants from open to the middle. Typha. Or Tifa. However you want to pronounce it. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more commonly as water sausages. Can I turn her light on? You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus, truly the most tissunder of plants. Ugh, no, windows, stop. I didn't want to do that, I accidentally hit the windows button. This is a good job, good job, good job, Sean. And this, this is a room under renovation. It's you! Can I just keep staring at myself? Oh, it's a water sausage. We keep water sausages, apparently. No, I don't want to go back in here. Can I, like, talk to the follower? <laughs> no, I don't want to go in my room. This eye is an old calendar from the beginning of 2000. Something teen. Uh, what's on the table? Nothing on the table. Also, please note right now the chairs. Obviously, the story is pertaining, like, there's stuff pertaining to the story, and you'll find that out later in the playthrough. I'm pretty sure uh, it's. <laughs> it's uh, going to be a wild ride, so we'll. Uh, I don't know words. Words are not B, though. <laughs> um, those are the tools that being filed down for, to make them safer for kids. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of the human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Yeah, you'll find out the king soon. The fire isn't burning hot, it's just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I wouldn't recommend that. So this is the kitchen. For some reason, there's a brand name called Chocolate Bar in the fridge. I don't get the reference to that. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Oh, that's the same message. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. How you know that? I do not know. Up already, I see. I can't speak. I cannot speak today. What is going on? <laughs> um, I want you to know how glad I am to have somebody here. Someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I'm gonna show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I also prepare the. Career 
curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you over here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, what do you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Yeah, sure, whatever. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Science tutorial. Go down the stairs. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. The one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. I'd be a good child to go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you want to leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> Just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you're strong enough su to survive. So... Easy way to win this fight. Card, but you can't really lose to her. She gets you down to two health, and then <laughs> uh, you don't die. Later attacks, which is she's showing how much of a mom she is. I mean, she always wanted to be a mom, but well, I say she always wanted to be a mom. You learn about her earlier on. Her sadness is overbearing. And I do not blame her for doing what she's trying to do.
Now, one thing you can do, because I was curious one day. Well, I say one day. It was the first time I played this. Uh, I was curious. Because she just runs off. And you can check the house and she's not there. So you're like, well, where is she? So, I pondered. Where is she gone? She found me at the forest. I wonder, I was like, I wonder if she's at the, the forest. I don't know how I avoided that battle there. You see that it just kind of like came up. And then I wandered through the door just at the right time. <laughs> Suck at random battles. Pass all the frogs. I didn't swallow the frogs, it's disappeared now. The book was the hole with the foot, the mouses. Oh, go away. One. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll just go along here. Oh. It is quite a far way back to. To the the entrance of the game, but being my first time, I was like, ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Wait, like, if there's nothing back here, there's nothing back here. Like, you can't really, you know, lose anything for going all that way back. Just nothing. You get nothing. It's all you get. But I found a pleasant surprise. Stop it! The long room. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's so much more I could say because you've seen it all so far. It's just. <laughs> Don't mind the musings of me. It's just <laughs> that I I was curious and I thought I'd show what happens when you go right back to the start of the game. You go down past the dummy along the switch room past all the switches down the stairs Past where Flowey was, and to the end of this room, where you see Dario. And this is the room and the place where you first start. So, what does Dario say? Golden flowers, they must have broken your fall. That was the flowers. Do not worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. So, that's a double meaning there. One, the flowers will will help you, uh, will help any human who drops down into the hole. Uh, it will sustain their fall, but they're also golden flowers, which means something later in the game. The Delta Ruin, which is on Toriel's chest, ch on Toriel's chest, and it is quite in quite a few places. It means another thing, like, it's a, like, you see it dotted around all over the place, and there's a reason for that. I'm not quite sure what the Delta Ruin actually means, because I've not looked it up. More likely, I'll probably Google it before the next episode. It has to go all the way back. Screw it, let's just cut to the next bit! Ah, and we're back. Now, time to go through this hallway. 
which is another long hallway. They love their long hallways and passageways and paths in this game. And I, it, uh, sometimes it's annoying, sometimes it's not. Do we want to leave the ruins? We have to. Because otherwise the story won't progress and we'll go get anywhere. Well, of course, Flowey is here. I wonder if he has any new dialogue. Hmm. I can't remember the voice I gave him. Shit. Uh. 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 Fuck it. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, is kill or be killed. So you are able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out frustration? Or will you give up on this world entirely? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is in regicide. This is so much more interesting. You'll find out his plan soon enough. Please note his choice of words as well. He is the prince of this world's future. Undertale. By the majestic Toby Fox. <laughs> Toby, if you ever watch this, freaking love this game, man. Love this game. This game. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Can you give me any more than that? Mm hmm. Another long passageway. I didn't walk over that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's just keep going and going. Yeah, but that was scary. This is it. This is my doom. This is the end of me, human. Wait, what? Human. He didn't even say anything. Just talk, talk dialogue there. The old will be Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, the old whoopee cushion in my hand trick. Wait a second. Have you heard it before or something? I turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunt and fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go for this gate thingy. Yeah, just go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyway. <laughs> Quit behind that conveniently shipped lamp. I can't even move. <laughs> Here he is. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. Whatever are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. Whatever you come through here, I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must. Be the one! I will capture our human 
and then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, something else that starts with an R. I will be able to finally join the Royal Guards. I switch my words around all the time. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Huh. Maybe this lab will help you out. Sans! You are not helping you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. How did the dog have a little I love how we keep these in. <laughs> I've got into a kind of work today! A skeleton! Sans! <laughs> Come on, you're smiling! I am and I hate it! Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself! Down to the bone! I will attend to my puzzles! As for your work, put a little more backbone into it! Yeah! Okay, you can come out now! <sighs> I can't even aim properly. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes! <laughs> Actually, hey, eat the barbery. You do me a favor. I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Uh, I keep getting thrown into this music, and I'm like, ah, I love it! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination! Save. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to the box over here. I want to use the box. Yes, I want to stick in the spider donut, the faded ribbon, the butterscotch pie, and the spider cider. And keep the monster caddy. Caddy. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this, this, this whole episode is just mixed up some words by me. I just cannot speak. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached is the end of... To the hand is full of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number! You decide not to call. I'll leave it there. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Spin. 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 Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undying will. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'll be your body, my body, or. Human! You cannot pass this area. I, the great papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then. Then. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I've changed his voice again. Pretty sure this is turning into Markiplier's episode. Do is go. Nope. 
Yeah, hit. Gonna laugh. What are you laughing at? I can't remember how to do this. Ah! Uh, oh, I had to check him. Oh dear. That was a great laugh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Snow Drake is actually a good comedian. Some narration on this cardboard box. <laughs> you observed the wildcrafted sentry station? Who could have built this, you've ponder? I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman. No, it's not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. Royal Guardsman. Jesus Christ, I cannot words. Absolutely no moving! Haha, <laughs> I'm about to surpass you, Remark Applier. What will you do now? Ha ha ha! Was in my imagination. I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Doggo check. Easily excited by movement. I'll be include squirrels. So basically, it basically it's like it's dog. I gotta pet him. Pet Doggo. What? I mean pet! Pet, 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 Doggo. Where's that coming from? Pet, 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 pet. Doggo has been pet. Keep going as well. There's no end to it! Pet, 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 pet. Pet Doggo. Oh, this is far! Pet Pop Pop! <laughs> you Pet Doggo. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. <laughs> but you can kinda, you can go over here and ring the bell, and you'll pop up, and be in view of you. Oh, is anyone there? No. Or you can keep pressing it. Are you playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy, is that you? Come on. I don't know why he's turned to the Batman. Well, it's not the tall scale. He's too loud. So, Doggo is... Doggo is... It's, uh... Um... Batman. And, uh... <laughs> probably it's Joker. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, Sans. Hello. <laughs> hey, there's something... Hey! Hey! Hey, there's something I forget, there's something that poor to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and I won't hurt you. There's an easy way to keep that in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine the blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Remember, blue stop signs. I forgot his voice. What's up here? Oh, Snowman. Hello! I'm a Snowman. Why am I 
want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'd be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. Got a lot of pieces of man. Really, though? That human? Do I know that person? Do you not know? Do you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a uh, sort of <laughs> sort of thing, but it kind of came out like. <laughs> Of course I know who I know! I wanted to know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know! You know? <laughs> oh ho! Speak of the devil! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is an invisible electricity maze. <laughs> the walls of this maze. The orb will administer a hearty zap! Sounds like fun! Because the amount of fun you hope probably have is actually rather small, I think! Okay, we can go ahead now. Sans! What did you do? This, this series is going to be the death of me. <laughs> I think the human has to hold the whole, the whole, 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 whole. I think the human has to hold the orb. Orb. I, I did it again. Hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. You get to put it on your head. Okay, try that. What, what happens when you electrocute yourself? Incredible! You slippery snail! You stopped it so easily. Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It's designed by my brother Sans. You will sure be confounded! I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. Bro seems to be having no fun. Having no fun. Having no fun. Having no fun. We're having no fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Hey. Oh, Mr. Hot Dog! I don't understand why these aren't selling. Perfect weather for something cold. Oh! A customer! Hello! Would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Just 15G! Here you go! Have a super duper day! Got an ice cream. He's so happy! Play some golf. Oh shit. Uh us 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 No no this way there we go there we, uh, no uh, no the other way the other way there we go No Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. Oh, how nice. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Snow decahedron. Oh, I was supposed to go the other way. I forgot. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there. Right. Trust me. It's 
no way they can get past this one. Sans that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? My voice went back to my normal voice. I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, the easy peasy word scramble. Baby That's a baby bone. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human! Solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? I'm gonna say jumble this time, but usually I say crossword. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent! They also find Junior Jumble so difficult! Nya! Ha! 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 Thanks for saying Junior Jumble, just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got some trying to solve the horoscope. So what I was actually meant to do was kind of go up here and see what's over here. Is horrors. Okay. Spell danger rating. Snow spell, snowman white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy blue rating. Smells rolling around. Weird smell, humans green rating. Even though it's in red. Destroy at all costs. I need to save it because this blade is getting quite long. Ah, safe. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Ah, the start of the spaghetti saga. Wow, I have 71 minutes through. Cool. So, I shall end this part here. And hopefully have another part up soon. I hope. Anyway. I guess that uh, I'll have another part up soon. And I'll, I'll see you guys later. And we can get more skeleton puns on the way. And hopefully I can keep my voices straight. Because really, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life anymore. <sighs> anyway, thanks for everyone who's probably not watching this. And thanks to everyone that supports me and all that jazz. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.